Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today we're going to work on some word problems or applications. Now, these word problems have equations with rational expressions. Those are the type of equations we worked in the previous video. So, you should all be ready to handle this, and so should Charlie. Let's make sure he's ready to go. Hey, Charlie, what's up? Not much. You're ready to do some applications, right? Don't make yeah. me say it. All right, let's just get to work here. You know, Charlie is anxious to go, so let's get started here with our first problem. Let's go and list it right there. There you go, Charlie, and you're in the word problem. Anyway, let's go on here. Now, Charlie can paint a room in six hours. That's you. Brandy can paint the same room in four hours. Ooh, so who's faster, by the way, Charlie or Brandy? What do you guys think? Me. Yeah, no, Charlie's too slow, huh? Yeah, all right, let's go on here. Because Charlie takes six hours to paint the room, but Brandy can do it in four. Okay. Oh, remember that. So, how long will it take both of them working together to paint two rooms? So both rooms we're assuming are the same size. So, let's go on here. Now, let's put in our task rate. This is a task rate times time equals task. Okay. So, Charlie, if you can paint a room in six hours, what's your rate? Six. Well, it's, yeah, it takes him six hours, so his rate is one room per six hours. So there it is, your rate is one six, and it's one room per six hours. That's why your rate is one six, right? Now, what about Sandy? What's her rate, Charlie? Randy is one fourth. One fourth, because it's one room in four hours. Okay, and since they're both working together, they're going to work for the same amount of time there. So they both work for T hours here. Now notice, in all of our word problems, remember it was this times this gives us that. So here we go again. But we're going to look at the dimensions. Now this we covered in pre-algebra when we did conversions. If you notice, if you have rooms per hour times hours, what cancel out, Charlie? Hours? The hours, and that just leaves you with rooms. And so we get the final column there, t over 6 rooms. Okay. And so that's the fractional amount of the entire job that Charlie will do. Okay. And so Sandy's task, total Brandy. task, will be how much, Charlie? One t over four. Okay, it will be t over four. Now notice again we see that those hours do cancel out. And so the fractional amount of the task that Charlie does is represented by t over six and the fractional amount that Sandy does is represented by t over four. So we already know Brandy will do most of the work because she works faster than him. All right, let's go on here. Now, what we're going to look at is, okay, what is the entire task, Charlie? <clears throat> Paint two rooms, and we notice if Charlie does that part and Brandy does that part, then they both have to give us a total of two rooms, which is the total task, and there's our equation, t over 6 plus t over 4 equals 2. There we go. So it's not too tough of an equation to handle. Okay, so let's go to our, let's go over here to another page here and let's go and do this equation here. There we go, Charlie. T over 6 plus T over 4 equals 2. We're solving for T where T represents the amount of time that they work together. So, Charlie, what's our lowest common denominator between a 6 and a 4? 12. It is 12. Very nice, Charlie. There it is up there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to we write our equation and we're going to multiply both sides by our lowest common denominator to clear these fractions out. Okay, so we multiply left side by 12, right side by 12, there it is. And now we have to distribute. Don't forget that 12 needs to be distributed to each term. So we have 12 times t over 6. And then we have 12 times t over 4. And the right hand side, we have 12 times 2, which is how much, Charlie? 24. 24. There we go. Okay, now we should know how to uh, multiply a number by a fraction. Remember, if you're having problems, you can go back to the pre-algebra videos on Kung Fu in the fractions or clearing fractions. We did some problems back then, but by now you should know how to do it. Anyway, so Charlie, what's uh, 12 times t over 6? 2t. It's 2t, because 6 goes into 12 2 times, 2 times t is t. What's 12 times t over 4? That's 3t, three three because t. 4 goes into 12 3 times, 3 times t is t. Right hand side is 24, and there you go. And we'll go ahead and list our problem over there. 5t equals 24, right, Charlie? Because two t's plus three more t's gives you five t's. <coughs> it's like two apples plus three apples gives you five apples. There we go. 
So 5t equals 24. And to solve for t, we should divide both sides by what, Charlie? 5. 5. And then our answer comes out to be what, Charlie? 24, 24 over 5. 5 hours. So that's how much of time, how much time it will take both Charlie and San Brandy <laughs> uh, working together for this problem. So there we go. That's about five hours. So don't forget to circle your answer. Let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Now, this is called the pool man problem. Okay. Here's our problem here. Pump number one can drain a pool in 10 hours. Pump number two can drain a pool in 15 hours. How long would it take both of them working together to drain two-thirds of the pool? Okay, so there's our table listed right there. We have pump number one, pump number two, and again, it's a task rate problem. So task rate times time gives us the task. Now, Charlie, how long does it take pump number one to drain the pool? Ten hours. Ten hours. So its rate is one pool per? Ten hours. Ten hours. So there it is, one over ten and pool per hour. That's right. One pool per 10 hours. Now, what about for pump number two, Charlie? What's its rate? One over 15. One pool in 15 hours. Very nice. And they both work for the same amount of time. There we go. T hours. And so, what's the task for pump number one? Okay. Pump number one will be T over 10. Its fractional amount of the task will be one over 10 times T, which is what? T over 10. T over 10. Okay. All right, Charlie. And so, uh, suppose uh, for pump number two, I'm sorry, pump number two, what's the total task rate for pump number two? T over 15. T over 15, because 1 over 15 times T equals T over 15, all right? And notice the hours cancel out, so you get pools per hours times hours gives you pool, okay? Now, what's the total task here, Charlie? It's not to drain the whole pool, it's only to drain how much of it? Two-thirds. Two-thirds. Okay, so that's our total task there. And remember, this is pump number one's fractional amount is T over 10. Pump number two's fractional amount of work is T over 15. And the total task here is two-thirds of the pool. And so our equation is T over 10 plus T over 15 equals two-thirds. There we go. Okay, so now let's just handle our equation. Here we go again, Charlie. Oh, what's fun? What's the lowest common denominator, Charlie? We've got 10 and a 50. What is it? And the 3. 30. 30. Very nice. And what do we do with that 30? Multiply both sides. Multiply both sides of our equation by 30. So here we go. There it is. T over 10 plus T over 15 equals 2 thirds. Now we're going to multiply the left side and the right side by 30. There it is up there. Okay. And don't forget, we're going to distribute that 30 to each term. So we get 30 times T over 10. What's next, Charlie? 30 times, 30 times T, over T over 15. Very nice. And what's next? 30 the times 10 times. Remember? It is 20 because 3 goes into 30. 10 times 10 times 2 is 20. 20, right? It's 20. 3 goes into 30. 10 times 10 times 2 is 20. Okay. All right. So now, okay, Charlie, what's 30 times T over 10? That's 3T because 10 goes into 30 three times. 3 times T is 3T. What about the next one, Charlie? 2t. 2t, because 15 goes into 32 times. 2 times t is t, and the right-hand side is 20. So here we go again. What's 3t's plus 2t's? That's right, it's 5t's, because 3 apples plus 2 more apples gives you 5 apples. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start our equation up there. 5t equals 20, and what do we do now, Charlie, to solve for t? Divide by five. Divide both sides by five. There it is. Those fives on the left cancel out, giving you T equals what, Charlie? Four. Four hours. There you go. So the pool man should put these pumps in the pool, turn them on, and come back four hours later, and only two-thirds of the pool will be drained. Right? He just wants to come back before the pool fully drains because he doesn't want to ruin his pumps. Anyway, so there you go. Don't forget to circle your answer there. And that takes care of those word problems. These word problems okay, are not that bad. They shouldn't be by now. You should be doing really well on them. And anyway, we'll come back a little bit later, and we're going to do some more beginning algebra. Remember, we're in the big time. So we'll see you all later.